Hot 107.9, Atlanta's number one hip-hop station. My name is Mo Quick. Yes, it's the Mo Show. In Atlanta, gorgeous, I have real royalty in the building with me, Angel McCautry. Um, first of all, can I just throw your accolades down, hey, let's baby? let's do girl. it. What up, Atlanta? Let's go. Uh, two-time Olympic <laughs> gold medalist. Okay, former Atlanta Dream franchise player. Mm -hmm. Five-time all-star. Extreme entrepreneur. <laughs> girl! And you're... So young, <laughs> doing all of this stuff. No, I appreciate that, man. It's all for the A, you know? You must have started, like, a long time ago getting your mind together to take over the world. You know what? It's, it's one of them things where it's a blessing that come out of every lesson. You know, I had tore my ACL a couple years ago. I read. And when that happened, I just started creating ideas, and and, and it's now it's coming into fruition. Because I didn't even put producer on there. I saw you have a movie <laughs> coming out. Yeah, man. We are uh, filming right now, actually. Um, so you know I had to take time to come up here with y'all. Okay. But we filming the movie Lanier. Everybody wow. know about the lake now. So. Oh, it's Lake Lanier. Yeah. I know you lying. <laughs> yep. I hope y'all not filming at Lake Lanier. We're filming close by. <laughs> but oh I will God. tell you this. I'll give you a little secret. Our lake scenes are not at Lake Lanier because we ain't fooling we with ain't that. We ain't got time. We ain't got time We can get the movie to finish. Yeah. So there's other lakes here in Atlanta that, you know, we'll film at not at Lake Lanier. Yeah. But you're not, are you from here? I'm actually from Baltimore, Maryland. How do you know about the secrets of Lake Lanier, or the tragedies, I should say? You know, say. I've been here since 2009, so, you know, back in the day, I used to go up there and sit on, on the lake and use the water slides but until we started learning, and it's, a lot of incidents started happening, and we was like, man. Around you? Just you in general, it? you know, like, it was always something going oh, on in the news, the news around the lake. Mm -hmm. We was like, man, we ain't going up there no more. <laughs> Because, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be revealed, well, I don't know, in the film, but, you know, it was an entire family on Lake Lanier it that was were killed. A whole, it was a whole town. A whole town. And it was a black town. And um, after, actually, after doing the movie, I did a lot of research and found out there are other black towns that are underwater in other states. Mm. So mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely explore that more wow, um, after the movie and maybe do a documentary on, on that. Who approached you about this project? Yeah, it was a group of... Um, people who were doing the movie when I saw it I was like this is interesting and I was like when is it coming out and all of that and they were like we would love to have you on board you know wow and I was like I do have some executive producer experience from, do you yeah because you know think about it. we play basketball we're always on, on camera we're always behind the scenes I started sure. just asking questions like you know always doing commercials and things like that how does this work how does that work so you're always around it yeah you know, yeah. and then that's how I became really, really good at just asking questions. But see, that's what I had to ask you. You know, um, a lot of times when people get their lives together, like together where they put investments in stocks and yeah. they do amazing things, they're like late 40s. You know, like we're just understanding the importance yep. of being versatile. So Absolutely. when I'm looking at you, I'm like, girl, how are you doing? Because I haven't even mentioned mm -hmm. the, um, I think it's the small city that you're building. I saw oh, it on yeah. your social. Mm -hmm. It's just like, how? I hear you saying, you know, I just start asking questions. That's all you got to do. I mean, you come up with an idea, start asking questions with people in that field or in that, you know, that's doing that. And you're good to go. You, you start building from there. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so that's a good point to transition because when I saw on your social and a lot of influential people here in Atlanta yeah. have um, uh, grouped together to put their money in a pot to buy little small cities all over the place. Yeah. So how did you get a part of that project? Yeah, so Booker. Booker, his, actually, his name is actually Booker T. Washington. Is he a junior, a senior from actual No, Booker he's T. a Washington? young guy that helped build the tiny home community, the South Park Cottages that I'm a part of. Wow. And now we're about to do phase two in Union City. Wow. But it just started with an idea. And he went to the city and he, he wrote it on paper. And they were like, what is this? Who's they? Um, the city. They, they were like, we don't oh. know if this is possible. I don't, we don't know. Tiny home community. Got it done. And now people want more. It's the first black-owned tiny home community in the United States. Can you believe that? That is crazy. <laughs> and you're a part so, of it. And a part of Did it. Did he ask you, he's like, hey, Angel, I know you're into well, this stuff. Yeah, well, I invested in one, you know, because I want to use it to be able to do things in the community and give back. And, and like you said, we want to help people be homeowners. You mm -hmm. know, we need more black people being homeowners. So that's why these phases. He gave one away. What? Gave one away. Uh -huh. So to, uh, family or family? To, to this lady who was, um, she had never been a homeowner and she was always adamant in the community. So that's what it's about. You know, we don't do that enough. Sometimes it's okay to give one away. You know, it, it's all right. Wow. We want to show that, you know, more black people, we can be together. We can work in unity. Wow, girl, that is so dope. It's deep, yeah. So, so who else is on, is it a board of you guys? Because I've seen really popular faces doing this. Yeah, um, I think more and more people are getting involved. 
um, especially Booker T. Washington. Obviously, he's the leader. Um, of course, there's there's a team of people with construction and things like that. Um, I'm a part of it. Actually, um, I know that we we want we have more people want to be a part of like you know TD Jakes and things like that. So the popularity has grown with this. So hey, y'all y'all gotta come come join it. Um, I mean, it's not How? limited for nobody. How do we do it? Um, go to southparkcottages.com. Southparkcottages.com, or you can hit up Booker T. He's on Instagram. Um, and at Techie Homes, you'll see everything, all the phases. And if you want to be a part, just DM or go to um, the website and just email. Can we ask you personal questions? How much do we have to have in order to be a part of that kind of investment? Um, if you want to invest in the home, I think that uh, Booker will work with you. Um, but now tiny home, the tiny homes is is very popular because you don't have to pay so much for a five hundred thousand dollar home to a million, you still get those same amenities for a million dollar home. So, a hundred hundred k or You're less. Kidding. Yeah, to be a part of the community, not just own one, but to be a well, part well, of the. Well, if community. you want to invest in the land and be a part, of, you could probably less than that, and that's something that y'all could work out. But if you want one of those homes, you can get one of those homes for a hundred k. Wow. Or a little more, depending on how many rooms and things like that. What's like the regular square footage to a tiny home? Man, I, I would say. What is the regular square footage? Um, maybe 1,000, 1,200 square feet. That's a big home. That ain't no tiny home. Or, or maybe like 900. I think mine is wow. 900. It's a tiny home, but it's still spacious. Oh, wow. It's very spacious. So even if you can go get tours of the home. Wow. You know, so um, definitely southparkcottages.com if you ever want a tour. Uh, we do workshops with the kids up there to teach them about home ownership. Oh. Because we, we like, hey, listen, the real flex is, is being a homeowner and having, you know, good credit, learning about credit and things like that. We know y'all want to be like the rappers and I was stuff about to like say, that. I listen to the songs. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I know. So, but the, we want to teach the kids the real flex is ownership because that's going to get you paid too. Period. Oh, Period. my God. Equity and being able to rent out and, you know, passive income, you know. So that's what we want to teach our kids. Did you learn about this after you became a WNBA All Star or was this something your parents taught you? You know what? I, I got to be honest. I didn't even know about credit until I went to college. I had to get oh. my first cell phone. And they was like, you got credit? I'm like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I, I, I mean, I just played basketball my whole life. I didn't know nothing about that stuff. But as I went to college and started learning and being independent, I'm like, okay, I got to get this thing called credit, a credit card. Wow, but now our kids, they can learn about that stuff early, things we didn't know about when we were that age. So they can be more prepared when they go to college and, you know, have their own businesses in high school. I see more high school kids having their, making their own business, selling T-shirts and things. We didn't know nothing about that no, during our generation. So I'm glad to see this generation, you know, have that knowledge. Wow. Oh, man, that's crazy. So yeah. if I could please take a step backwards. Um, I was reading that you were waiting for January for the free agencies to open up. Mm -hmm. How'd that work for you? Yeah, you know what? We're still in free agency. It's, it's not over yet. The season starts, um, training camp starts April 30th, and the season starts May 16th or something like that. So there's still time. I'm still in, in that process where I'm negotiating and figuring out where I might end up. So, you know, bear with me, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel like you've done so much already? You don't want to transition into something? Soon. Very soon. I still think the timing, um, I still got a little bit left to play. I still, my heart has always loved to play. Mm. Um, so very soon, but just not yet. Yeah, yeah. I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. If somebody is working out every day in their gym, in their um, <laughs> local court. Like, uh -huh. how how was that process from going to loving it to professional? You know what? It's one of the things where it, you just got to balance it. It's a switch over. But, like, I'm already doing different things now. Like, the movies, I have, you know, I'm bringing my ice cream shop back. So I'm already kind of in that lane now. So when basketball ends, it's like, okay, I'm just stepping over here, giving this more energy. No, so. no, no. Someone who has never gone professional, like a young kid who's dreaming oh. of the court. This is what I always tell the kids. If it's not about going pro, if you love to play basketball, it's so much more you can do in the game. You can get a scholarship to college. You can be an agent. Mm. You can commentate. You know, you could be a head coach. It's so many more different things than just going pro. So that shouldn't just be the end all be all. Oh, but what if it is? What if it is their end all be all? Well, then guess what? If you want to play pro, go to Europe and play. It's not mm. always just about going to the NBA. Mm. You know, it's about helping your family, being financially stable, and playing the game you love. And like you said, you could just still find other ways to be around it. Do you have to get an agent, or can you do it by yourself? You can do it by yourself, but if you're young, I would get an agent just because you don't have the connections yet. Mm. And if you're young and you got all the connections over there, you know people, then by all means, do it yourself. But at that age, you just don't know people yet. <laughs> no, you're right. You're you know right. what I'm saying? At my age, I know people I can call now because I've been in it so long. 
But at 20, I didn't. So mm -hmm. I would tell a young kid to get an agent first. And where do you find one? Is it online? Is it just that simple? Um, usually they, they come after you if you're really good. Um, if you're not good, not, not, saying, girl! not saying if you're not good. I said that wrong. <laughs> if you don't have the connections um, to one, I would ask a certain players who have them or um, coaches. Your uh. coaches will have the connections to that. I'm not saying you ain't good. But <laughs> if you ain't good, keep getting, getting the gym Get and keep better. working, okay? That's it. That's simple as that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I know you have somewhere to be. Um, you said something about um, practice. Where are you practicing? What are you practicing? Yeah, um, I practice. I got a couple gyms that I practice. Don't um, you have a gym here that's named after you? I don't. I have a court. A court. What's a the, basketball court. What's the difference? Yeah, um, well, my court is outside. Okay. It's an outside court, and uh, we, I partnered with Honey Stinger to do that. Um, Where it's is a beautiful it? court. It's in Maddox Park. Uh, in the Bankhead community. So Love. when it get warm, y'all, definitely go check it out. It's a beautiful court. Um, it has my two gold medals on it. Wow. Uh, you know, my little silhouette of me passing the ball, some inspirational quotes. And um, we'll definitely be doing a lot. lot. I have Kenneth Moreau here, my hey, manager. Hey, Kenneth. Say, what's happening to y'all? Uh, what'd you say? New thing. Oh, boo thing. But, um, and he also <laughs> helps me manage. But we're doing a lot of camps and activations on that as well. Actually, tomorrow, you want to tell them what we're doing at Kennesaw? Yeah, on Thursday, we are uh, empowering the youth, uh, Kennesaw State for Women's History Month. Uh, we have Angel, we have uh, Catherine Bruton, head of BMI, Dina Mardo, uh, doing a lot of things in the music industry. So we touching the kids all week, Women's History Month, and we're releasing her new EP, Evolution, next week. If y'all ha haven't heard Student of the Game, it's been getting a lot of love. We just got a, a placement on NBA 2K for our music. Evolution is coming out next Friday. Wow, wow, wow. So what's going to be happening at Kennesaw? What are you guys doing? Uh, we're celebrating Women's History Month, so uh, I'm, I'm producing a women's conference for, uh, for women in TV, film, music, marketing, et cetera. You know, it's all about touching the youth, and if we're not touching the youth and leading the next generation, then what are we doing? So Wow, what time? Uh, it's going to be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We're doing a whole day at Kennesaw State, and like I said, we're covering all topics in all industries, so it's going to be great. Oh, my gosh. Who's representing radio? Ooh. Ooh, we may need you up <laughs> Do here. Do you not it's have Thursday. radio? We don't. What? We don't. We have music, but we don't have radio. We would love to have you. If you if you free on Thursday, we'd love to include you. I got to call my boss. I'm going to be here. <laughs> and shout I out Kennesaw State. Air. They just won the championship. Uh, the basketball team just won their first uh, championship in school Shout history. out to Kennesaw State going to the tournament. Come on, KSU. Yeah. yeah. You better. Okay, Cobb County doing big things. <laughs> We see you. Yeah. Okay, so um, I really appreciate you for being here. Oh, thank you. We got to do it again. Of course, of mm -hmm. course. Obviously, you're going to have a lot going on. I'm sure this is only March, so I'm sure you oh, have yeah. the whole year filled with stuff. Oh, yeah. And when is Lanier coming out? Um, we don't have a specific date yet, but be prepared um, for this fall or the end of the year, like December-ish, for it to release. Oh, but we'll keep dope. you guys updated for sure. I love it. Okay, we're going to follow you on social. Please. If you want to follow me on social, it's at M-C-C-O-U-G-H-T-R-Y, my last name. I love it. And do you have any encouraging words for anyone listening to you right now? Yeah, I, I want to first say thank you for having me on here. And keep your head up. Keep working hard. It all starts with just that idea. And you can make, you, you know, you can change the world. Mm -mm. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Atlanta, gorgeous. Of course, so much more is coming up on the way. It's Hot 1079.